Hey, it's Ian with Electric, and today is the first nice day of the season here on the East Coast, so we thought it'd be a great opportunity to test out the Coffin F80 off-road version here on the trail. So I'm gonna put my helmet on and gear on, and we're gonna hit it. Now, this is a bike that I'm pretty excited about because it's offering something that most manufacturers in the segment aren't. For the most part, this bike is around the same class as that of the Surround Light B, Solaria Triple X, or Segway in terms of power and price. But unlike those bikes, you can actually register this in over 50 states. On top of that, it does so at a price point of $5,500, with some saying that Coffin will be reducing it to $4,500 for the 30 amp hour version. But we have yet to see that confirmed on the CoffinUSA.com website. Either way, I think this could be a really good option. If you're planning to ride on private property, this probably won't be a big deal, but for those who want to enjoy an off-road bike on public streets, this is a huge plus to be getting similar, if not better specs than the classic Suron, but also be able to ride through regular traffic worry-free. For one, you're getting a 72 volt battery that comes stock, as well as an eight kilowatt motor and zero weld aluminum frame. And in terms of sizing, the bike has 14 inches of clearance, weighs 179 pounds with a 30 amp hour battery and comes in at an overall size of 77 by 31 by 42 inches. I'd say this is a bit bigger than the classic Light B, but not as big as a full-size motocross bikes. If the classic Suron Light B or Segway was at one side of the spectrum, and the higher-end dirt bikes such as Suron Storm B, Stark Varg, or KTM Freeride EXC was at the other end, then this would be somewhere in between depending on how you look at it. When I test rode this bike in Pennsylvania, I was shown up-to-date registration for the vehicle as well as a license plate. Now again, this might not be a huge factor for those looking to ride primarily on trails or private property, but for those who want a city capable dual sport and don't necessarily want to go to the 10k plus price range of highway suitable dual sports like a zero fx this is a good option to look for for trail riding and beginner motocross riding i think this bike handles well and is decently balanced the one downside aside from the lower quality compliance parts like the plate holder that broke off was the rather small foot pegs I believe the suspension is adequate, but not to the level of some of the higher end dual sport bikes. But then again, this is a 72 volt off-road bike with a decent motor and DOT approved compliance parts, all for a reasonable price point. As for charging, the batteries can go from empty to full in three hours for the street legal off-road bike. When it comes to the battery, Coffin uses a patented immersion cooling battery system that claims to achieve eight times the thermal balance and only 50% of normal temperature rise. The temperature improves work efficiency while maintaining a balance and the temperature control system allows you to ride freely even in the case of minus 40 degrees. When it comes to brakes, the F80 is stopped with 230 millimeter disc brakes on the front and 203 millimeter at the rear. It's an adequate feeling brake, but leaves you wanting just a little bit more heavy duty braking power. For those that want that upgraded brakes, better suspension, and a bigger size, as well as a 12 kilowatt motor, you may want to check out their full size version called the FX, which comes in at $5,800. Overall, I'm glad to be seeing more options like this in the market, especially at the $5,500 price point. Being able to ride worry free and without breaking the law just to have fun on your electric motorcycle is a feature that not enough manufacturers manufacturers are including. Let's face it, a lot of the people who ride high-speed e-bikes and motorcycles like Surons or Talarias are doing so on public roads despite the manufacturers clearly saying it's not street legal. Now while I'm not against people having fun, I think if there were more options like this on the market, we'd be seeing a lot of young people opting to register their bikes and riding a bit safer, especially if it meant they needed a motorcycle license and the required skills to operate these types of bikes on the street. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching, have fun, and ride safe.